name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved, today is the 13th day of August being Tuesday. Today, the man I just celebrates optional memorial of St. Pointia. He's a pope, and Hippolytus is a priest. The matters of the church. And readings will be coming from Prophet Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 8, to chapter 3, verse 4. And response to Psalm will come from Psalm 119, verse 10, 103a. A gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel chapter 18, verse 1 to 5, verse 10, and verse 12 to 14. The theme of our message today is, it is not the will of the Father in heaven that one of these little ones will perish. It's not the intention of the Father will perish, no. So if you perish, you decide to do it yourself. And that's why today you can see the gospel message. Somebody came to ask Jesus who is the greatest in the kingdom of God, heaven. And they called a little child and put him in their mission and said, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself, like this little child, is the greatest, is the greatest. Do you see it? So if you are looking for greatness, humble yourself. It's greatest in the, in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one of these little child, in my name receives me. Yes. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. They don't despise them. I tell you that they are in heaven, they are angels, always behold the face of the God the Father. So what do you think? If a man has a hundredfold with sheep and one went to slay, will he not abandon the 99 and go and look for the one that strayed? And when they found that one, he will come and celebrate. I say, he's the only one he's having. Yes. Telling you the need that care, the God care, he doesn't want any one of us to be lost. And now I said, so it is not the will of the Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. He's never intended that we should perish. And that's why he's making every effort to make sure that you don't perish. In Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 21, he said, I don't want the death of a sinner. I want his repentance. Yes, change your way of life and come back to God. You'll be saved. So to be great is to be humble before God. That's how to be a great person. Any person who is not humble are full of yourself. You, you want nothing in any way. And that's why he's telling us, when you see these people who are very humble, don't despise them. Because the angels are in the presence of God every moment. And that's why today Ezekiel was telling us one of the assignments given to him so that no person perishes. He says, scroll was given to him and was called to eat that scroll, was written front and back. And he was giving this scroll to eat. And he ate this scroll. She was very sweet like, like honey in his mouth. And he was asked to go and then deliver to the, go to the house of God and give them the message of God. So you have consumed this world. It's now in you, it's your life. You are going to preach yourself. The word in you. Yes. That was saying, as the sea said, evangelization is witnessing. Your actions speak louder than, than voice. When you live out the life, when you speak out the truth that is in you, yes, you have accepted it. If you have not accepted the word of God and go to preach it, you might not be making a deep impact for sure because it can be leery for you. But when it's you, you speak what is you. All the effort God is making that we don't perish. That's why it's true saving how to go about it. And now when the psalmist understood this so well today, they say, how sweet is your promise to my 
tongue, O Lord. How sweet is your promise to my tongue, O Lord. The promise you made sweet, sweet me, O Lord. The promise of God, our hope, sweet, make us sweet. Now what today we're celebrating St. Pontia, the Pope and Hippolytus. Both matters of the church, they were exiled to the island of Sardinia by Emperor by the Emperor who at the time was persecuting the church. Emperor Mazimus, he sent them on exile to slave the man. And was satisfied from there, both of them were brought back and killed. They died in the year 235. They were both killed, martyred for their faith. And it's not the will of God that we should perish, but to have life. And that's why they have life. Instead of perishing in my field, they have life. They offer their life, pay the supreme price for this faith so that they will have life. May God help us understand that it's not the will of the Father we should perish. So don't make effort to perish yourself by not doing the will of God, by not living according to the will of God. When you do the will of God, you will not perish. But if you fail to do the will of God, you will perish. And it's not the intention of God the Father. May God help us understand this message today through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the grace of living in him and not perishing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.